I'm going to show you how the progressive angular isometric loading looks like in a good shoulder. You can do this on your knees. There's very, a lot of different variations. This one is just so you could relate to how I'm going to do it on my right shoulder that was replaced. So I'm pressing the dowling into the floor. I'm pressing myself into the stretch and I'm concentrating on the tissue underneath my arm where I feel the stretch. And I'm, I'm the whole stretch is pressing and contracting. And I keep it fairly consistent over the course of two minutes. Now I'm gonna demonstrate on my replaced shoulder. And I started this uh, in the second week once I was out of my sling. So I didn't start it in the first week. I started it uh, probably around um, day nine or 10 uh, once I was out of my sling. So I'm pressing every four to five seconds and then I lighten up a little bit and then I start to press again. So I'm really careful because I'm still fresh, uh, pretty fresh from uh, surgery, but now you can see what I'm trying to do. And as I get more and more range and more and more control and strength, you'll see I'll back away from the stool or I'll do some other variations. I work this for approximately two minutes and I, I do the pressure or the pressing for about four or five seconds at a time, compose myself and then reset.